It's like people spend a lot. I I say people, but it's me. I spend a lot of time on here, Thomas. I say Thomas because I want insecurity, maybe. Because we're all the same. We're all connected to each other. We're, we're all the same carbon footprint. But I know we have like, differences. But that's okay. Um, it's hard for me to go for video responses. It's hard for me to uh, hit the specifics when I watch the video response. Because, like, to remember, I just have, like, I remember being talked to. And then I want to, like, respond to. It's hard to hit all the points. You got to take notes, and like YouTube's not school. It's a different kind of learning, I think. Or maybe it's like both. <laughs> it's both. It can be both. And that's why we're evolving is because we've learned that it is both knowledge and what we can do with it. But then it's important is what we do do with it, how we communicate the knowledge that we have. Uh, oh, I wrote down, you can't keep calling people names, dude. You can, but dot, 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 ellipse, which was a mental note for like, okay, Ian, fill in the blank. You can call people names if you want to do it. You can do anything. But when you call people names, it like really isolates people. And it's hard to like get your point across after you call them a name. So that's, no, no, that's all I wanted to say. Oh, and yeah, I know I exaggerated this, not 800 million people, but uh, it may as well be. I mean, it's a lot, and it will be. You know, it's going to be everybody. Eventually, we're all going to connect with everybody, I think. That's the evolution of everything. And, like, give it thousands and thousands of years or a, you know, way to do it. Or, or maybe it's, you know, who knows? I think that it's happening fast for me. No! It's balance. That's going over the edge. It can happen fast. You can let it go fast, and then that's... It happens fast in moments. And you just have to allow it to... You have to allow yourself to feel... The, I'm talking like being enlightened, being like flowing. It happens... And then people get back to life, get back to reality, this reality. So I want to like push the boundaries and like have enlightenment more often, be open with people more often, and find a new balance. I want to I want to shift the balance. I don't want to fucking blow things up. No, no destruction. It's just a, a, a sociological shift. I want I want to open up more, and I want the people around me to open up more. And that's, I guess, all I all I really want in life. No, I want to find balance, and I want to be an old man with a beard. So I'm going to be like uh, like Socrates or uh, Descartes. Apparently, he lived to be an old man. I just found that out last night. I haven't studied the guy too much. I hear he's amazing. See. It's all happening. Um, if the U.S. was a desert, Thomas, I got a little angry right now, but this is like, to me, I don't know how it could be more obvious. If the U.S. was a desert, there'd be a lot more conflict in the U.S. Definitely, your, your living conditions attribute to how violent you are as a person. If you're around hot just hot shit all the time, like if it's hot all the time, people get angry all the time. I see it happen. I feel it myself. And if we lived in a desert, there would be more conflict because there wouldn't be the resources. And it would be hot. Because there can be the resources with modern technology now. So I want to focus on what I think the real issue is. It sounds so crazy, but I think that Chaos comes from the heat, or at least is minimally affected by it, and people haven't been focusing on it. But think about it. It, it, it. it makes a lot of sense. It's connected. 
I don't know, man. It's not. I'm not saying it's the only reason, but I'm saying it's part of the reason, and it's like a result of it. It's all. Oh, I think for books, you can't learn as much from a book as you can from the author because the books are people. Books are just text, just you know, something to learn from in the physical reality, but not like something to learn with, like a person. Uh, oh, and you talk about cults, too. Now, whether or not an individual is, is in a cult is up to the individual. I am not in a cult of any kind. I do not have any intention of having people around me doing things for me. I don't want shit... I have people living here in my apartment now, and they clean the apartment a little. I see, I see how it can happen, but it won't happen because there's awareness of it. Cults are what people do when they get afraid. They latch on to each other physically. That's not going to happen because the physical reality is not important. It is a just an idea of the mind and then we can we continue to live our lives and you don't go too far in either direction you don't get wrapped up in the money and give over to that and you don't get wrapped up in the tornado of consciousness and give over to that and you find the balance you explore it you, safely through video I think is a safe way to do it because you get to listen to yourself and you have the same awareness as everyone else you learn how to listen you just you know what what's happening you're not a fool to things you don't you learn how to listen to people. This has got so off track, man. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I just... It's right after I'm talking about balance. I get too extreme. Okay, but it was controlled. And there was no harm done. So, we're back to balance. And I'm going to continue on the... <coughs> Excuse me, what I took notes about. I never said that I deserve money, and I don't think that I do. I don't think anyone deserves it, but I think that we can manifest it. Uh, and I don't use tricks. You said that I use acting tricks, but I don't use tricks. I just this is who I am because I was like studied acting. But it's like acting's worth studying for anybody, I think, because it's like it's exploration of self. You just you don't take it too seriously. It's not the most important thing. It becomes a job becomes what you do to make your money. I thought of you... Oh, well, remember when I was saying that I, I... Like, no one has to hoard all the knowledge, and so, like, they don't have to ask anyone. I was thinking of you in that moment. It's crazy. It's not crazy, but that, that you're who my mind went to. Yeah, you're on my mind. You, you don't go unnoticed. Don't think that you do. I'm serious. Oh, and I, yeah, I talked about Obama's policy. I guess I talked about everything, huh? Well, anyway, man, I'm glad I finally made this video to you. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions a little better with uh, more focus, even though I know it's a little unfocused because uh, I smoked that weed earlier. I'm just, I'm not going to lie about it. So I guess I would have to say I'm high right now. That's a fearful thing to put on the internet because people take sound clips but maybe because I'm open about it and say people will do whatever people want. I'm not going to lie about who I am. That people will continue and will continue to trust each other. See you later.